Good morning, friends. Welcome back. I hope you're doing well. I am so happy that it's raining today because it has been so hot outside. I live on the border of Pennsylvania and New Jersey, and right now we're getting that really hot, humid East Coast summer weather. And honestly, I am so over it. I can't wait for it to be fall, but I am trying to savor the summer as best as I can. So this rainy weather is such a nice break from the heat, and I just want to make the most of it and have a very cozy summer day at home. So the plan for today is to read a lot of books, drink a lot of tea, and relax. So if that sounds good to you, grab yourself something to drink and let's get started. So before we start reading, I wanted to show you some of the books that I've been reading this summer. This is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I loved this book. I finished it um, a few weeks ago. It's set in the modern day and it's about an old Hollywood star who is sitting down with a journalist to do a tell-all book about her life. And I loved the characters, loved the way the story was told. It was very heartwarming, but I will say it was also very emotionally heavy. So I wouldn't call it a light summer read by any means, but it was definitely one of the best books I have read in a really long time. Next is The Maid by Nita Prose. I just read this book last week and I really enjoyed it. It's technically a murder mystery, but it's very lighthearted and I loved the main character. Again, I don't want to say too much and give away the plot, but it was very charming and very funny at different points in the book and I really loved it, so I highly recommend this one. And this is a cookbook, but I had to mention it because this book literally changed my life. It's called The Forest Feast by Erin Gleason and this this is the cookbook that really made me know that I wanted to be a food creator and learn food photography and do recipe development. The recipes are very simple but really delicious, wonderful flavor combinations, um, and really beautiful photography and art. The author Erin illustrates and photographs her own books and it has so many wonderful summer recipes for using up fresh produce. I've also been reading the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas and I really really have been enjoying the books. I read all of the Akatar books last year and loved them. They're my favorite fantasy romance series by far. And then my friend who recommended Akatar to me surprised me with the entire Throne of Glass series um, in these little miniature editions. I have them up here on my bookshelf. So all of the books are this miniature size, which is great for taking them to a coffee shop or traveling. When I first started reading the series, I felt like it was taking me forever to get through one book. And then I saw the full size editions at the bookstore and realized how long these books actually are. So don't be deceived by the size. The print is quite small. I'm about two thirds of the way through and I haven't read it in a few weeks. To be honest, I just got distracted by the other books that I was reading, but I think today is the perfect time to pick it up again because I love reading fantasy books on cozy rainy days. This summer, I also want to read Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. To be honest, I've tried starting Anne of Green Gables maybe two or three times, and I haven't been able to get through the first part of the book. That might just be me having a very short attention span, but I really want to push and read the whole thing because it's just such a quintessential good book for summer, and so many people love it. It's a classic, so I'm going to challenge myself to read this before the end of the summer. I think I can do it. So first, I'm going to pick up where I left off in Empire of Storms, and then if I get through that today, I'm going to start Anne of Green Gables. And if you have any book recommendations, please leave them in the comments. I'm always looking for new books to read.
just finished Empire of Storms. It was so good. The character development in this book was amazing. I would say probably the best of the series so far, so now I'm so excited to read the next one. And now I'm going to end the evening with Anne of Green Gables. But before I say goodbye, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you so much for your support. Last week I reached a really amazing milestone with YouTube and my channel was monetized. And it's because of you for watching my videos and just being so incredibly supportive of me and my work. And now I'm able to make a little extra money each month off of YouTube that I can put back into the videos, which is literally my dream come true. I feel like I have finally found my community online and it's so exciting and I hope I can support you the way you have supported me in making this a really calming and cozy and welcoming online space. So I'm very excited to keep working toward that and thank you so much again for being here. Ooh.